Hey guys, I know my last video got cut short. For some reason, YouTube keeps doing that to me. But to continue my last vlog about my life with an arachnoid cyst and seizures, I wanted to continue talking about that. Um, continue with what I was saying. I, that's one thing I do remember is just asking for my sister. I don't remember a lot about that. Uh, but I do remember I asked for her. Um, my mom was there with me both times. And I think I think both times I was in there for three days. Uh, my mom, for those of you that know me and know my family, my mom is going to college to get I to get a second ooh, a second certification. Um, and she missed school to be in the hospital with me. Now, for those of you that know college professors, some of them can be understanding and some of them would just boot you out to class. But she stuck her neck out and did what a mother, what a mother, what a mother does, sorry, <laughs> I'm a little tired, um, did what, the, what a mother should do and she stayed up there with me. Um, the first time, like I said, I was, the first seizure I ever had I was out of it. I was scared, really weak. Um, I was tired. I had a headache. Uh, so I mainly stayed in bed most of the time unless they were doing tests. They did a MRI. My first seizure, they did an MRI at UTMB Galveston. They also did, I think they made it pulled, pulled, taken blood from me. Sorry guys, like I said, I am tired. It is 1.35 in the morning. Um, they took blood. They did an EEG. I think they did an EKG as well. Um, the second time I was in the hospital from a seizure, they did blood work, they did a CAT scan. Um, and then when they transferred me to uh, Clear Lake Regional, basically it was just for observation. Most that happened was doctors came in to talk to me, checked on me, they upped my dosage, they, um, they gave me an opportunity to go home, um, the day that my actual neurosurgeon came in there, but I decided that I, I wanted to stay one more night because that was the night that they upped my dosage and anyone that knows me knows I am very scared about medication. Um, a situation happened a long time ago with medication. Not with me, but with a family member, and ever since then I've been scared to take medication in high doses or medication that I'm not used to. So I told them, I said I would feel comfortable and safe if y'all watched me overnight while upping this dosage. The doctor was fine with it, they kept me overnight and released me the next day. Um, uh, what can I say? Um, it's a scary thing. Guys, if someone tells you there's something wrong you need to go with your instinct and take them to the doctor because a long time ago I was complaining about dizziness all the time um, By a long time ago, I mean years and years ago, I was a freshman, and now I should be a graduated senior by now, but I'm homeschooled, so I'm not, but I was complaining of dizziness, and they did lab work instead of a CT scan or an MRI, and all they found was low iron levels, so they just put me on iron pills, and I don't think it really helped. Maybe kind of, but not as much as it should have. Um, I believe the doctor said some of the dizziness could be caused from assist. I don't really remember much from that doctor's visit. But if someone says something is wrong with them, ask them to tell you what they mean and get them to a doctor. Um, I know I've really been talking mainly about my life with seizures instead of the arachnoid cyst and the seizures. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do another video. Yes, I know you're thinking, oh my god, another video. 
Um, but I'm gonna do another video, and it's gonna be about my arachnoid cyst. Um, so after this video, you can watch it. Um, comment anything you have any thoughts of. You can also have recommend give me recommend give me recommendations for further videos you would like me to do. Any topics you would like me to talk about. Any challenges you would like to see me do with family members, friends, etc., etc. Um, and I want to apologize for my poor speech today. I am tired. My sister is in the emergency room. That I know she's fine. For now, um, she's just, I think she's just having pain in her arms, her arm, but, um, I will put the next video up. You can go watch it, like it, subscribe. Um, but that's it for this video, guys. Thanks.